Hey guys, how you doing? So I got an email that I thought you might find interesting. So he says, at least once a week, I get a, a message reportedly from some CEO of a startup asking me if I'd be interested in applying for some job at their company. It's a personalized message men mentioning specific skills I have and also sometimes saying, I know you've only been employed for X months at your current role, but would you be interested, et cetera, et cetera. Weirdly, none of them have ever asked me for a resume. They only want to know if I'd be interested in talking. I don't reply. I always get a follow-up from them, pester me about it. So I say, yes, why not? Then I don't hear from them for about two weeks. I get back something like this. This is the latest one. So he sends back the email. Hi, uh, M. Thanks for getting back to me and apologies for the delayed response on my end. Shortly after reaching out to you, we ended up moving into the final stages of the process with a few candidates and will likely end up filling the position soon. We'll reach back out if another suitable role opens up in the future. Thanks again if you're interested and let's stay connected. Hmm. That's the email we got back. Then he says, this, lich this has literally happened to me five times in the last four months. It feels comical at this point. Is this a well-known email contact collection, contact collection scam? It's so predictive and uniform, it makes me think it's being generated from some common source for multiple clients. Well, that sounds like it is totally automated. It's flattering to receive the emails for these positions, but on the other hand, it's getting annoying being rejected for jobs I never applied to. <laughs> I'm getting to think that these positions don't even exist. I've heard about ghost listings, but this is a very active version of it. Do you know anything about this? It could be that they're just gathering leads for future possibilities. You got to understand, when there's a boom uh, in the market, talent is sought after like crazy. My guess is they're just gathering leads for potential prospective employers, employees right later on. And yeah, this definitely looks uh, automated, but I don't know what it is personally. That's just my guess. Uh, again, we are entering into a weird period now in terms of the economy. So people are expecting recession. Uh, but most importantly, what has happened over the last few months is that since interest rates have risen up so much, the cost of money has become much more expensive, which means that all that venture capital money that was used to fund all these startups that money is dried up for the most part. I was talking to somebody I know, and their company at one point had a valuation of 15 times their earnings. That was pretty standard a couple years back. Now it's compressed down to two times their earnings. So that means, let's say your company, I'll use round numbers to make it easy. Let's say your company generates 10 million a year. Uh, in the old days, that would val give a valuation of 150 million to your company, 15 times, 10 million. Now that same company is now worth, uh, according to the market, about uh, well, two times 10 million. So that's 20 million bucks. So their net worth went down from 150 million on paper down to 20 million on paper. It hurts. It hurts. They can only buy three Porsches instead of 25. During a situation like this where the interest rates are higher, VC money is pulling out. They're not as hiring as nearly as aggressively because they just don't have the money now. But they're setting things up for the future when the inevitable boom comes back again. Let me widen this out. When the eventual boom comes back again, interest rates will start compressing again at some point. At least that's the expectation. They want to have at their fingertips uh, talent that they can access because it's good. This is the typical pattern. I've been seeing this pattern for decades now. So there you go. That's what I think is happening. All right. I hope you found this video useful. Bye-bye.